What's up you guys? My name is Liz. I am a postgrad student at the University of Glasgow. I apologize if you can hear any outside noises. I've had to open my window because it's absolutely sweltering in my apartment. But that is okay. I'm not going to be in here for too long because I am about to head out to explore the east end of Glasgow a little bit with some of my friends. Once I finish my coffee, we'll, we'll head out. There is so much life and history and culture in Glasgow and honestly if you're not exploring every single corner of of the city you are missing out on so much so today we have two destinations in the East End that we're gonna be hitting up the first is the Glasgow Women's Library and the second is the Barras these are both staple institutions of Glasgow life not Glasgow life the organization but just life in Glasgow and I cannot wait to explore them a little bit and you're coming with me I am taking you along so I'm gonna finish my coffee and then we're gonna go to St. Enoch and then we're just gonna walk we're gonna walk all the way through the East End so the walk from St. Enoch's to the Women's Library is pretty culturally rich in and of itself. It's about a half hour walk down the length of Glasgow Green. So you walk past the whole park. You can walk through the park, honestly, if you want to. We could not because it was being set up for transmit at the time, so you couldn't get into Glasgow Green. But you'll walk past Glasgow Green, past the People's Palace, and the Drying Green, which still has these Victorian iron drying poles where people used to hang their laundry, all the way up until the 1970s, I believe. This was a communal drying ground for the city of Glasgow, for the working people of Glasgow. Once you've got past Glasgow Green, it's about a five minute walk to the Women's Library. This is part lending library and part museum with small exhibits on women's history, specifically the history of women in Glasgow. Uh, the exhibit that was up when we went was on women and Glasgow's poorhouses, so that was very cool to get to read some of the local women's history. And the whole place is run by women and non-binary folks, which is really cool. And they are currently celebrating their 30th year as an institution in Glasgow, so happy Dirty 30 to the Women's Library. And then after we left the Women's Library, instead of taking the same route back to Merchant City, and if you're in Glasgow and you haven't been to the bars yet, you absolutely have to check it out. The Barras is a combination of indoor and outdoor vendors selling mostly vintage and secondhand goods. It's right next to the Barrowland Ballroom, so it's pretty easy to get to, you know. Lots of cultural institutions right in the same area. We love to see it. The Barras as we know it today comes from a very long storied tradition. It started with hawkers selling goods from hand carts in the open square, and over the past past hundred years the practice has just grown and expanded and it's such a great place to spend a Saturday or Sunday. It is only open on the weekends, but honestly what else are you doing with your Sunday? The Barras is probably, I would have to say, the coolest place to go in Glasgow for secondhand shopping or, you know, just wandering in general. And there is honestly so much more than just the Women's Library and the Barras to see in the East End, but if you really want to appreciate it, it is kind of a full day. Take your time, walk along the green, maybe have a cup of coffee at one of the many local coffee shops anywhere between Merchant City and the Women's Library. And then once you get to the bars, you could honestly just spend an entire day there probably. Make a full day of it. It's a great time. I cannot wait to share more with you guys the exploring that I'm doing around Glasgow, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!